Hey guys, how's it going? I'm DK. I'm Rizzo. And I'm Zero. And today in Anime Reaction, watch the fourth episode of the Lord Elmoy II's Case Files. Yeah, the so, Lord Elmoy and the Iran and the Iraq. and right. there's, there's an old meme for you. Um, <laughs> so last time we found out that Waver T is very important to him. And Gray is basically an Ultra Saber. And 100% adorable. Anyway, starting in three, two, one. Let's jam. Damn static. <laughs> Even though you wouldn't get that walking on a wooden floor, but I digress. You already know no, nothing's actually bleeding here. They drop a no, sandwich. No, he's holding. He's holding the. Uh, oh. oh. He's holding the, the piece of. Uh, uh, the the Scander's cape. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Well, you know when a character is uh, wax uh, waxing nostalgic like that, some serious shit's about to go down. I thought it was just going to be like a funny scene where it looks like blood beef like spilled a sandwich or something. Yeah, I thought it was blood at first, but then I saw the frayed edges of the mm. piece of cloth. And I remembered that he had that piece of cloth. Mm. I was going to say, I'm so fucked up. And then I realized that that's Iskandar's cape. And no, I don't want to do that. Not to Iskandar's cape. You know, if you go through that motion <laughs> and your hand ends up bloody, I'm just saying, man. There is such you've a thing gone as too much. Long. Yeah, you've gone too much. <laughs> just start seeing a doctor. It's a hand, not a cheese grater. <laughs> Best opening of the season. No lyric. <laughs> yeah, reminds me of my first apartment. Hey! Hey! hey. hey. Nice. So you know that first scene in Evolution? Ready to grab a lunch, Harry? Or have you already eaten? So he chimed in with a haven't you people ever heard of closing the goddamn door? Hmm. 
Toasty. <laughs> oh, zap. <laughs> You've been thunderstruck. <laughs> Oh, she'll have her asses for sure. Why am I on this pedestal? Ooh, pretty. Straight from New Mexico. <laughs> <laughs> I just realized weird creatures kind of standing behind her she stopped time oh my god Dio Brando's now a lolly I don't know if she necessarily stopped time there. I think she just set up a uh, field so that nobody could hear. Mm -hmm. Nobody could eaves eavesdrop. Yes, but my explanation doesn't ruin the joke. Hmm. Here we are, gang. Now let's split up and then look for clues. For dry, red eyes, clear eyes. It's like Sting with uh, with orcs, <laughs> nice. goblins or whatever. Orcs, yeah. Part flew by pretty quickly. Mm 
<laughs> Good lord, could you open the damn door any slower? <laughs> Mug. Uh oh. Well then. Yes, because an entity investigating itself is sure to deliver good results. Right. Well, I guess if they're working with that division of clock tower, there's nothing anyone can do. Oh shit. Well, I did come through the door. Well, clearly he's better than you. <laughs> Big time nature on energy from her. Hey, I'm just investigating you. Unlike you. Have I driven home the point that she's a pretty terrible investigator? Hey, to be fair, circumstantial evidence decides cases all the time. Well, peeking girls in the shower, you know. Uh, this idiot.
spirit. Damn it, this I'm never gonna get out of my clothes now. Hmm. Damn you, mysterious dialogue. Maybe that's Waver's point of view. You can only see, not understand. But I'm the Ojo Sama character. Ooh. Well, time to go down to the Thieves Guild. Kinda do. Oh, don't yeah, be we'll such be a worry word. Nothing bad will befall us at all. enough. At least she's honest about it. Yeah. Smug. Can you, though? Hmm. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Hm. Can't stop the rock. <laughs> well, well, well. Look, we just ran out of options. Hey. What's up, Mr. Necromancer? Hmm. Oh, Ow. Toasty! It's really strange, though, seeing him without Mordred. Yeah, he's basically the Mike Rowe of necromancers.
Even when she's asleep, she looks smug as shit. (laughs) 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 Because you get flustered. (laughs) That face. Oh my. Are you sure you're joking? (laughs) Yeah, give it a minute or two. Or not. Damn. That will not happen. Oh my. Hmm. Big ass sauna. She's gonna sweat the truth out of her. (laughs) They just want to know the why done it. Yeah, just relax in the sauna and let the real detective do all the work. Oh shit, the episode's over already. Kind of flew by. Indeed. Alright, so the big takeaway from here. Uh, yeah, she, she goes back. And again, very strange to see him without Mordred, but still a badass. <laughs> And Rhinus is smug as shit. I mean, that is... That is God-tier smug. Even when she's, well... I guess supposedly unconscious. Just smug. As it turns out, she has resting smug face. She's up there with, like, Nagatoro and Senjo Gahara and uh, just... The everlasting smug. (laughs) But not annoyingly so. Like, not to the point where you want to punch her. Like, uh, what's her nuts? Umaru. And also, Gray and Fate Grand Order when? Make it happen. Oh, big time stinger. Okay. <clears throat> oh, shit. What was she doing outside the mansion? Dummy, why'd you go? Why? That is a darn good question. Why was she outside the mansion? So last scene in the sauna with the Ara Ara Nason from the policies division or whatever. <laughs> the lightning doesn't stick around like that? Um... Anyhow. Yeah. I've seen a I've seen a rolling thunderstorm. Yeah, but it doesn't quite act like that. Yeah. Oh. Well, oh god. Oh god. Otaku Saga in Fate Grand Order when? <laughs> <laughs> yes. I gotta say, gentlemen, we make some sexy bitches. <laughs> no. Anyway. But yeah, Rhinus. Oh my god. Captain Smug. 
Uh, that's the appropriate reaction, Sal. Right there. Coming to a thumbnail <laughs> near you. My eyes. <laughs> <laughs> Need to get the, that first clip with our match guys going off for dry red eyes, <laughs> clear red eyes. Oh, yeah. But for real though, just look at the smug lord. Again, even when she's chilling. The as I said during the during the ending credits, mm. as it turns out, she has resting smug face. <laughs> Most honorable for burying children. <laughs> Flustered waver in like the next shot from there. Good God. <laughs> Coming yeah. to a dojo near you. You already know. <laughs> if it hadn't happened already. Coming to a dojo near you. So is that a uh, coming attraction for you? Right, right, right. Anyhow, yeah, let's see. yeah, our um, our badass necromancer. She she goes back. Well, they're only making a cameo. Well, I mean, it, it would make sense that he would be around since this is a family of necromancers we're talking about. Mm. It's kind of celebrity in the necromancer okay. community. I was actually about to ask about that. So, Fate Apocrypha is uh, in an alternate timeline. Hmm. Because hmm. I was like, I didn't think that that actually fit in with any of the. I was say you'd think it'd be in the name in the title, fit apocrypha, right? Alternate timeline splitting off from the third Holy Grail War. Okay. Yeah. Oh, also, I like how they had the pictures of the uh, people who were, who are going to the fifth Holy Grail War. Hmm. Which, uh, if anybody doesn't know, spoiler alert: they don't make it to the to the war. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. Also, um, Princess El Princess Elmoloy doing some. Uh, There's stuff back back that pocket. goes on there, mouse, but they're not. In the, they're not in. They're not actually in the original Fate Stay Night. They're referenced a few times, but yeah, stink budget. Yeah. But anyway, uh, episode itself, introducing our new case here, ends with a cliffhanger. Big time stinger of what's your nuts getting struck by lightning. I just hate it. Naturally. <laughs> Naturally. <laughs> it's not that kind of anime, Mom. <laughs> I swear. So yeah, uh, so now the uh, big who done it is, uh, or what done it, whatever. Or done why it. done it? Why done it? Ugh. Yeah. Why? Why go out in the thunderstorm like that? Why? 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 Well, of course. I mean, who would go out there voluntarily? If everyone knows it's gonna kill you, I think she was forced out <laughs> somehow. Either that or um, she really wanted to. Uh, hmm. I, I, I maybe she really wanted to make sure that the blame was on uh, Willis or Wills. Hmm. Yeah. How? <laughs> you know, she I've is heard... not a flame master. You know, I've heard of uh, people having uh, itching, burning eyes, but damn. <laughs> it takes it on <laughs> to a whole new level. again, for dry, red <laughs> eyes. No, for that, you need dry a fucking fire clear. extinguisher. I mean, forget pink eye, that's eye chlamydia. <laughs> Lifetime going to too many strip clubs. Anyway. But yeah, so, what's her nuts in the sauna? Just before her demise, the only one who's seen her, you know, around that time was uh, the Ara Ara Nachan investigator from the policies department. Well, technically, we didn't hear if she died. They said that she was struck by lightning, not necessarily that she's dead. 
Fair enough, fair enough. But it seemed like the lightning strikes uh, that happened before this were all invariably fatal. Yeah, I mean... Maybe she survives and that gives everyone a clue, perhaps, as to what's causing all this? But then again, that does not answer the question of why she's out there in the first place. <clears throat> Unless if that theory I just stated about, just like, her lightning-struck body giving, you know, providing some sort of clue, maybe she went out there to prove Willis's guilt? Hmm. Kind of sacrificing herself. For I doubt that, that she'd do that because it doesn't seem. Like especially if she's working with that other lady, um, then it seems like they already have his guilt in the bag. Mm. All they really have to do is wait for the for the thunderstorm to subside. Yeah. And, and uh, why why go sacrifice herself when you, your your main goal is to get the workshop? Right. And Willis couldn't have forced her out into the storm because, again, a snake bondage chick would have uh, kind of uh, would have confirmed his guilt, basically. Right. And he would have been wrecked. But yeah, the, the moment when they're like, oh, who is this? Oh, she's from the main family. It's like, mm. yeah, yeah, because that investigation is totally legit. Yeah, totally unbiased. Sure. Yeah, I mean, it bothers it's, me probably far more than it should. Bad say, it's bad enough, like when organizations say they launch an inquiry into themselves. But yeah, when you have like a big kind of snobbish noble, you know, family like most of the mage families in the Nasuverse, that makes it. Oh, we investigated. We totally find ourselves not guilty. Who would have thunk? However, this guy. Ah. The guy in the meeting here? No, the no. uh Well I'm 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 playing off of yours. However, this guy wills. This guy, right. this guy's this guy that we obviously want to get rid of. He's totally guilty. Totally, yeah. Lock him away in Azkaban. I mean yeah. <laughs> Right, that scene popped up and I'm like, oh, so she's into that. Hada hada. And right. <laughs> uh, fuck. No, he's talking about Iskander. That's a bit of Iskander's cape. Alexander the Great. The the. Did you not watch Fate Zero, Fanta? Or are you just fucking with us? Yeah, Fanta. Stop okay, with... you didn't watch main Fate. <laughs> well, Fate Zero is not exactly main Fate, but. Mm. Uh, Waver was a uh, master in Fate Zero. His servant was Alexander the Great, also known as Iskander. King of Conquerors! By the way, I highly recommend that you watch Fate Zero. It's one of the best in the whole saga. It's probably my favorite Fate. In big part because of Waver and Iskander. Yeah. Because that duo is pretty awesome. Sure, so don't start out that way, but uh, it's one of the best cases of character development in the entire Nasuverse. It also has a damn good dub. But anyhow. <laughs> yeah, we would have done a reaction for it, but we watched it like... How many years before we started doing this shit? Nope. Oh, not like even. Like a month before we started <laughs> doing the channel. It yeah, was actually... Just before. It was actually during, during the, the watching of... Because I I had just come to California when I when mm. we decided to watch it all. So there you go. It's probably a couple episodes away from actually being one of our first anime reactions. It's actually part of the reasons why we started. One of them. Yeah. Well, there you go. Now you have something. Now you have uh, something to blame. Blame because we were sitting around <laughs> watching uh, Fate Zero and we kept making funny comments <laughs> and stuff like that, and we're like. Hey, why don't we try doing reactions? And from that moment forward, our fate was sealed. It was all... <laughs> hey! And it's been all downhill since. Anyhow. <laughs> With that said, I think... Um... Iskam bro. <laughs> yeah, appropriate name, Ryu. But, yeah. yeah. Uh, not a whole lot, really, to this episode. Standard, you know. Scooby doing it. 
Oh, I thought there was a lot to the episode. It's just, yeah. And it's still a mystery anime at the end of it all. It's case by case, you know, kind of in the title. Uh, Waver's about to crack the case, and uh, Big Old Plot Twist at the end. There you go. Actually, I'm kind of interested in this answer. Mm. Yeah. Okay, so this is still anime original? Okay. Okay. That's good to know. Well, everything's been really just episodic so far, so I guess all the episodic bits are just anime original. Yeah. Anyway, so... Let us know what you thought of the anime, what you thought of our reaction in the comment section below. Yep, thumbs up if you like it. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit that notification button. And if you're interested in joining Discord, look for it in the description below. If you like our videos here on YouTube, consider going to patreon.com slash otakusaga and making a donation. Because remember, your support helps keep the channel running. But that's going to do it for this episode of Anime Reaction. As always, I'm DK. I'm Zero. And I'm Rizzo. See, See you, you next time. time.